round six, the final round of Swiss at today's uh, Toronto Regionals. Uh, we've got a pretty interesting match for you again tonight. Um, let me get through the list before you go all freaking out. We got ourselves Billy running a scum list. He's got a scum Nim and uh, scum Dengar. Yes, you can still play Dengar competitively even after all the nerfs. And we've got David D running, which a ship we expected to see a lot of here at Regionals and is everywhere at the top tables right now, but this is the first one we've had on stream. We've got uh, the, apparently the best pilot in the galaxy now, if you watch the new movies, uh, Poe Dameron, and we've got good old Diddly Dash. Uh, we'll run through them real quick and um, do that as Devin's getting the uh, each player's uh, strategies, and he'll r run those after I've, after I've talked about the lists. So um, <laughs> Billy's running a list he likes to call, well, I guess I'm running Dengar. Um, so we've got Nim. In, in uh, Stop Me If You've Heard This Version of Nim Before, VI, uh, Auto Blaster, Extra Munitions, Harpoon, Bomblet, Trajectory, Genius, Guidance, and Havoc. So a pretty a pretty beefy, a pretty beefy and hefty Nim. And uh, Billy's uh, post nerf Dengar runs this way. He's running Lone Wolf, uh, the Maul Crew, which is super interesting, uh, Scavenger Crane, Countermeasures, counter measures, which we know is great on a, on a two dice chip, uh, and Punishing One title. David is running the PS9 Poe uh, with Predator, which is interesting, and Advanced Optics, R2-D2 for the regen, Auto Thrusters, and Black 1 title, and Lone Wolf Dash, which we, the Burnout uh, the burnout Slam version of Lone Wolf Dash, uh, which we've seen a couple times before. However, the Ion Projector is interesting on the Lone Wolf Dash. I don't see that all that often. Yeah, it's going <coughs> to certainly be interesting. So Dev, you had you had an inside scoop with the players and their tra their uh, planned strategies and such. Yeah. What was their idea in the lane in the lane deployment of these asteroids and their overall approach to this match? So David said that he wanted to keep the center open for Poe. Okay. That he can engage in through the rocks and not care about his exit strategy. Okay. Right. Billy saw that David was trying to block uh, some of the left turns for Dengar, so he kept also kept an open an open plan so that he could engage right through the middle and go for whatever target he wanted. Okay. So David said his plan was to go for Nim as soon as possible yep. and then kill time. Oh, okay. So he's going to try and get Nim off the board and then work away at uh, at Dengar, probably get him, try and get him to, fat, to half half hole. Maybe they take shots when he can, when it's safe to. He's got a fat Poe, yep. right? He's got 45 points plus a bid. Yep. So he can regen, he can stay safe, he can turtle, he can get out of there. So he can play for time, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, Billy said he wanted to go for dash early. So this is going to be very interesting where you might see David trying to go for Nim, Billy trying to go for dash and seeing how that trade happens right yeah and uh billy wants to engage very quickly because of ray on on dash and you can see david there banking ray right away being yeah. very cognizant of of his cards and what he needs and how it needs to happen right so that lone wolf dash really needs quite a few deposits into the bank of ray to be effective, as we've seen, because it's, it's, it's a little bit harder of a dash to fly than super dash, uh, because uh, you do have to make sure you have that range control and don't get yourself in range one or two of your other ships, because you really want to be able to proc that lone wolf. But by that very nature, that means that you're going to leave your dash alone, um, potentially, to be double double teamed by uh, your opponent, the rest of your opponent's list. Now, this Poe is actually super interesting as well. We've been seeing a lot of VI Poes out there today. There's a lot of PS11 Poe running around on the top tables right now. Uh, he's and a monster. he's got Predator. He's got Aggro Poe. Now, I actually really like this because Advanced Optics means he's never going to want to spend that Focus token. But having the Predator on it means he's going to always want to be able to do that boost to initiate his Black 1 to strip target locks. And he's still going to be able to re-roll offensively. So he's got lots of modification potential. Yeah, he's really relying on Predator. And Black 1, he's... With Black 1, he has to boost. He doesn't have BB-8. He's got R2-D2. So that's going to be a very... He's going to be very choosy when he uses Black 1. Yeah. Right? Like, this is a very interesting Poe. Now, I've, I've spoken to over the course of the day a couple... Like, David a couple of times and some of his opponents... So he got just absolutely diced by a, tw a tweak in his last game. He was really salty about it. But mm -hmm. he also, in the, he had a mirror match against Tony Brzezki, mm -hmm. Poe on Poe. It's a VI Poe versus Predator Poe. Mm -hmm. And David came out on top because of Predator in that matchup. And so, so it can really, really help out, right? Yeah, because, I mean, you've got offensive rerolls. I mean, if you, roll, if you roll average with Poe, hit 
of a sorry a hit blank and an eye on an attack. Yeah. You predator away your blank die. Maybe you get another hit, and now you guys options for three, and you still got your focus for a defense. So it's very very interesting. Then let's talk about Billy's build real quick because we've got an upgrade that we don't see all of up because it's new from the wave. Let's we got to talk about Maul. We absolutely got to talk about Maul. So Maul says when attacking. If you are not stressed, you may receive any number of stress tokens to re-roll that number of attack dice. And Dengar has Lone Wolf. Correct. Okay. And what does the rest of Maul's ability say? After performing an attack that hits, you may remove one of your stress tokens. Okay. So on a ship that could potentially do two attacks a turn, you have a relatively high probability of being able to strip not one but two of your own re-rolls. And with Lone Wolf, you can, let's just say, again, we just talked about the Poe instance, the Dengar throws three dice. He throws, gets average attack die, hit, I, blank. He lone wolfs the blank. He you can't lone wolf a blank. You have to lone... Oh, the sorry. Blank. sorry. You have to... No, never mind. So I'm lone wrong. lone wolfs the blank. Yeah. And then he... Darth Mauls the eyeball. Takes one stress, probably does one damage, peels off his stress, gets shot at, gets to do the same thing all over again. That's a really interesting way to provide a lot of dice modification to your ability. He's basically given his Dengar the Dengar crew ability against uh, Ace's pilots, named pilots. It's very interesting. So it's going to be interesting to see how it triggers out. And then obviously Scavenger Crane's countermeasures on a ship that loves to do damage and kill things is always a good choice. In an earlier game, so uh, Billy played Rush Hour, which we saw earlier today on the stream. He played Christian. He was able to spend countermeasures five times. Wow. That's debilitating. And on a, a list like Christian's where he's relying on those target locks, mm -hmm. where he's pushing out with crews, mm -hmm. that's tough. Now, do you think Billy's coming in hard and fast with that pole one and get in on dash ASAP? I absolutely think that Billy is going to trajectory simulate a bomb onto dash this round. And, and smash him with Dengar. Okay. I, I think I think he wants to put Dengar at range when if possible. He, Hopefully he's pl 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 put in he the, said uh, he, the two bank. Yeah, so he's barrel roll in. He, if he, so Dash has two focuses. He's got a third focus now. So he's going into this combat round with two focuses, one f that he took, one from Ray. Mm -hmm. Poe isn't engaging, which is really interesting. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, David's wrote, written a little note to us there on his... Uh, on his uh, hand, what's that say? Ray, focus. Yeah. Little smiley face. To remind yourself to do it. It's smart. So there we go. That's a big move in from Dengar. That's, we, that's what we were hoping to see. So he's probably going to have to roll to get into the range one because I think he's just a little shy. Which I means don't know he probably if he can roll for the range one. If he doesn't want a trajectory sim. Oof. Oof. That's a tough call. It's a tough call, Billy. Uh, go, Billy. Go, Billy. Go, Billy. Go. I think he's in range one. So what it, are we It's very close. So we might see a genius one forward and, oh, okay, so he's going to say, it's okay, I don't necessarily have to have uh, my Dengar uh, reroll. I don't necessarily need my Lone he's, Wolf. He's got Maul. He's got Maul. That's true. And, I mean, if he really wants to put the pressure on Poe, that's not a bad choice. And we got the barrel roll for the, oh, what are we seeing here? He's probably just putting a target lock icon or well, something I'm, like that I'm on trying there. to figure out what Billy's up to. Maybe he's trying to get some mind games going on? I'm not sure about... Oh, okay. He's trying to check range without knocking something off his ship. Because that... Taking the, the very, target lock. The very small footprint of the Havoc. So, I mean, he's got... He's got him in arc. So he's going to be able to either TLT... No, he doesn't have TLT. He's going to harpoon him. He's 100%. got auto buster. Oh, he's got harpoon missiles. Of course he's got harpoon missiles. Why wouldn't you? It's Nim. Yeah. Extra munitions. Yeah, he's going to harpoon. He's going to want to put the hurt on Nim. Oh, sorry, on Dash very fast. But if... That means Dash is going to throw an HLC. If Nim harpoons yeah. and Dengar crits, then Dengar I, might take splash damage. Boohoo, one damage to get a crit and harpoon in on Dash, there, I we, take it. We've seen the, the Ray focus coming in. We've got double focus on Dash. Dash is going to HLC. Here's the question. Does he countermeasures on Dengar? No, it's just... He feels confident. He's oh, I like it, Billy. I like your sneakiness. Billy using the Ontario's finest uh, range ruler. He's also confirming that his Dengar is in fact range one as well because he's allowed to do that in that way and that placement of that oh, rule allows him to know I see. that. Oh, that's the clever. The target lock with Nim would have also reconfirmed that for him, but that was a guarantee that he knew he didn't have to counter measures with 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 uh, Dengar. There's there a reason we go. why he's doing well so far. All right. That's Harpoon missiles roll. with the reroll, spending the target lock that he earned at Canadian Nationals, getting up to the top tables. Oh, look Ooh, at that. Lovely. Just four paint. And then he's going to crit. He's going to chips to a crit because why wouldn't he? Dash is going to Lone Wolf. 
I mean, that's not on. Ah, oh, he's gonna take three, and he's gonna. And he's, and he's got the. Condition. And he's gonna be harpooned. Are we gonna remember? He's gonna take three so far. There's the token. Boom! Right down. Oh, I thought I ordered one of those too. I'm waiting for mine. Or did you, or did you just not pick it up from Kelvin? I had no. I thought about the mouth island. Either way. Sidebars. So here's that range one. Range one from Dengar. Let's see Ford if Ice. Maul triggers. I almost guarantee you we'll see Maul. Yeah, we're yeah. going to see Maul. He's going to spend it for probably two stress or three. Uh, he's thinking about he's it. Thinking so about this it. is a, a key point in the game. Right? Dengar has lost. Now, this rule was so bad. The it, problem is It might now, not be worth it to Maul. Also, I would Maul one. Nope. Billy's not doing anything. He misses. Smart. Because if he would have mauled for one hit, he wouldn't have done the damage. So, again, Billy's playing it very intelligently. See, a lot of players would get really excited about the fact that they have a range one with Dengar. Oh, and there goes the HLC for a four, which it always, Ooh. almost always does. And Nim. Four damage into Nim. Right in the mouth. Brutality. But Billy decided to do the right call there. Don't get over, don't get over aggressive. It wasn't the right time to do it. He could. He could he have could, forced like, it. He could have maybe gotten four attack die. But then he would have had double stress on his, on his Dengar. And then we take him two turns to get out of there. Again, you can argue with, Three, lone, yeah. with lone wolf and scavenger and and uh, maul. It's kind of like the good old days of Zuckus, where you don't care if you have actions. But I don't think so. I don't agree. You quite yeah, aggressively, so. he showed excellent restraint there. Yeah, you know the the roll just wasn't good enough for Maul to push it over the edge. No, you know it was so below the roll was so below average that it wasn't worth. The punishment of the three stress to bring it back in line. Oh, I agree. If I if I had done, I mean, if I had. Two I hits, mean, I re-roll two. You can tell two. Billy came into this round knowing exactly how he was going to get out of this yeah. position. He's got both his dials down. The Poe's got to engage. Poe's got to come in. Dash is hurting, right? He's still got... He kept one of his focuses. He's still got two on Ray. Yeah. So it's uh, it'll it'll definitely be an interesting decision. They're, they're chirping each other, looks like. Uh, making predictions about each other's failings and landing on rocks and, and other such nonsense. Well, I mean, this is actually true. It could be interesting for David to use Dash as a blocker now. I mean, he has to. He's, he's he hard one and sits there and just takes an extra focus token for his bank and let. Well, does Deng Dengar's two sloop clear if he hard ones? No, he doesn't. This is gonna be. This is gonna be interesting. Mm hmm. So Nim still has one more um, harpoon missile less left. Yeah. Um, he okay. It's gonna be interesting. Let's see what so uh, Nim doesn't not Nim uh, Dash does not care where the rocks are, so he'll just go wherever he wants. And yeah. uh, one would presume he's gonna barrel out so that he can actually attack this round. Oh, he's gonna sit on the rock. Oh, okay, never mind. No, he's gonna boost. He's thinking about what he wants to do. Oh, he's Bur slamming. Okay, burnout cool. slam. Interesting. Yeah, he, he, he. That was a lot of damage to Dash eight. And so he's just getting the heck out of dodge. And for those of you maybe new, a little bit newer to the game, don't understand what just happened there. How does a uh, Burn rebel out. ship have a scum upgrade in one of the in Heroes of the Resistance? That was a great upgrade that was released. It's a title option on no, sorry, it's a mod option. Sm smuggling compartment. Smuggler's compartment, and it allows you to take uh, one scum um, uh, illicit worth three less or less. Or no, any three, illicit. Two or less? I don't know. Any illicit, but then you get your mod slot back yep. and can't take a mod that costs three or more. Correct. Basically, you can't take engine upgrade and burn out slam. Right. Which was good. So he has... There's a condition token or uh, some sort of token on... Uh, Dash. On, on Nim. So I, he may have... With Poe, he may have target locked. And a sloop from Billy with Dengar. Yep. Great choice there. I think, it, I think Billy might have... Focus. Let's see if Billy thought that the slam might come. Okay. Yeah. Uh, trajectory simulator, a bomb, I imagine. Yeah, for to hit Poe. So, bomblet. Gonna, trajectory simulator, a bomblet. And after the FAQ, this does require him to discard bomblet generator, hence the extra munition. So, he'll burn one of his extra munition tokens, allowing him no, to keep he, it. No, he only has to burn the extra munitions if on you bomblet. Use genius, you're right. If My he apologies. Uses genius. Yeah. All right. He's been completely fixed and nerfed. I forgot. So that's an interesting position for... But, oh, Scum Nim is Scum immune Nim to... Scum Nim is immune to his bombs. Never mind. Yep. We've been seeing a lot of Rebel Nim. This is a good, good interesting it's a, Scum one, It's a wonderful change of pace to see a, a Scum Nim. <laughs> Barrel rolling onto his own bomb. Again, he can't take damage from it. No, and he is going to be rolling an extra evade die. Because he obstructs because it. He's, because the bomb's going to obstruct it. If, oh, no, he can't hold it. It goes off. Never mind. My apologies, uh, stream. It's uh, Yeah, we have no idea what we're talking about. That only works for 
That only works for action bombs. However, oh. do you know what he barrel rolled? Because Billy is on point to give Dengar back Lone Wolf. Nope. That's range one or two. Sorry, guys. We'll get there. It's, it's game six. I'm sorry. How much damage did so Poe take there? Two, two damage. damage. Hit crit. Oof. Oh, that's nice. Well, he was probably barreling to get out of arc, but I don't know if he got there. Yeah, I mean, he knows he's not taking a shot from... from, uh, from Dash. I thought Billy magnetized all of his ships. Maybe I guess he forgot not. to do that one. So, auto blaster from Nim onto Poe. That's what it was. He wanted the auto blaster turret. That's why he barrel rolled. And he gets one, one hit. hit. It just Poe just eats it. Yep. So, Poe is down to no shieldless. shields. No shields. And this means Dengar's now firing on a shieldless Poe. You know what? Hey. Billy, that's a that's a nice turn for you, I think, because if you could put the pressure on to Rebel Nim that early, sorry, uh, to to pull that early, to get his regen game that far into the hole this early on in the game, that's an interesting. Oh, thing they're to measuring. Have this. this might be range two. Range, range two in arc. Yeah, maybe if it's an arc. If it's even in arc to begin with, and it might be range two in arc, if it's anything at all. Yeah, someone just pointed out we've got the numbers backwards for David's list, uh, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One and two should be swapped. Wait, no. They're right. No, oh, never mind. You're a little behind I'm, schedule. I'm crazy. Go home. We had those. We had the numbers backwards for the scum list, Billy's. Oh, but they've been fixed. Okay. Oh. No, they haven't. Pocus. Hit, hit, crit. We're fixing it now. On... Okay. Awesome. Good to know. Thank you. So we just got a judge update from that. So Nim was out of arc, uh, out of Poe's arc, and Poe elected not to shoot, uh, not giving Dengar the opportunity to get his revenge shot. So that was just what we just shot, saw now was, was Dengar's, Dengar's shot, and it looks like he did no damage. Did no damage to Poe. Okay. Amazing. So I'm almost guaranteeing to expect to see Billy drop another bomblet this turn. You drop it right behind him. Yeah, absolutely. Because you know he's going to go one, two, or three forward, or mm -hmm. one banks, and you're going to hit him. He, yeah, he needs well, to the three forward and bank boost might be a thing. He needs to regen that shield. Oh, but this also, is when you use Dengar to block. Who has? Oh, so David's got initiative, so his pose is going to move first. Sure, but also any bomblet Billy drops now is going to damage Dengar if he drops a bomblet by, by, right behind him, right? The, well, we'll see what or, no, he can, goes he can, with his Dengar. He can sloop, yes, can't he? He can. can white sloop, and that'll he that'll probably get him. Oh, That's dangerously close to that rock. They're chirping each other again. <laughs> He's at, uh, David is asking Billy which direction is red, I believe. Ah, uh, yeah. The right sloop on the jump master is red. But the left is white. The white, the left is white, correct. But the left, I also believe, hits uh, Nim. Mm, uh, maybe. No, actually, no, I think it puts you on the rock, but I'm not 100% oh, sure. Oh, classic dash move. The hard one. The focus. And Dash didn't shoot last round, of course, because he, uh, yeah, he yeah. slammed. Yes. And, <clears throat> okay, now, does he sit here? Does he boost? If Billy saw the three coming, and he hard ones, and that, and he and uh, David does not boost, this could be interesting. Bomblet might be interesting. No, he's going to boost. Yeah, okay. So yes. that way he's trying to block the potential hard one, I think. But if Billy did sloop here, and not bombletting, it's going to be interesting. This, I think the sloop uh, lands well, on a rock. Well, Dengar gets to move first. Billy's got lots of reps to Dengar, so I'm sure he wouldn't have done it. So there you go. He did the hard one. Oh, the one bank. There you go. The smart one. The smart play. Now he's not going to have him in arc, but he's going to have a range one shot there at Poe. So Poe will have the auto thrusters triggered. And uh, Poe will have regenerated a shield there. Yeah. Poe Victor up, up his one shield. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So and it's pretty safe to assume. Oh. No, he's not going to. Okay, he doesn't have a target lock. Is that a talon? That's a talon roll. He has no target lock, though. Oh, he's in, he says, I don't care. I like it. All right, interesting. And uh, here comes a bomblet. Billy's trying to make that. Oh, he's going he's to trajectory simulate a bomblet forward. Yeah. I would, take the, I would take the potential damage on my... Yes, with the amount of, Oh, maybe he's not going to do it. I wonder. With the amount uh, of damage you have put on his pole, would you be... No, he's not going to. He's playing it safe. He's keeping it as was somebody posted earlier on. Uh, Dengar is Billy's late game. He's not going to unnecessarily damage him just to t potentially take the one regenerable shield off of Poe. Uh, He'd rather just get him in a death in a death arc. Maybe. 
I don't know. You could take uh, Poe off the board right now, and then I would for the cost of God knows what. That's on. actually true because he could definitely take two damage from the bomb lit, and then he could easily take two damage from the four tacti he's gonna get from Dengar. Listen, I. All right, so just uh, ooh, the natty threes. Is that three? Those dice are so hard to see. Yeah. Ooh. It's one. I think Poe. That's two damage out to Poe, I think. Yeah, we're in the hall on Poe. Ooh. Po. These dice are sure giving them a chance. Ooh. A tough positioning there for David. Mm-hmm. And here's uh range one Dengar. Oh, again, he's getting he's getting awful Dengar rolls. Are you gonna maul it now, Billy? Uh, you know what? It's interesting with the th with the eyes. If you maul into some focuses, I probably wouldn't though, because he's probably gonna take that. He's probably gonna take the shot from. He's probably gonna take the shot from uh, Dash at range three. No, nope, he's decided to do two. I like it. Bold strategy. Oh, and it pans Spends out for Spends the focus him. for. Three hits. And a guaranteed removal of one of his stress. And auto thrashers will give him a second, and he still takes one damage, and he's down to one hull on his dash. It's a I crit. like it. This is a crit. Let's see is what it, it is. And it is... Weapons failure. Ouch. Mm. So Pose can be rolling one less attack die. Attack die. Wow. So uh, so Billy's just been all over Poe. And, and if Dash decides to fire back at him, he will give Dengar a free shot. Back. Yeah. Which, I mean, why wouldn't you take it? And Dengar, oh. Dash doing what Dash does, four hits. No lone wolf here. No needed when you roll beautifully like that. And Dengar is going to eat a nice chunk Two, of three damage. Three damage. Oof. That's I most mean, of Dengar's shields. No reason to not fire back. I fire back anyways. I, now, he has to fire back at Dengar or at, at Dash, or can he fire back at Poe? Uh, he has to fire in arc, right? He has to fire. I believe it's in arc. Now, he may know... Billy, are you checking? Nope. He may be out of arc. Uh, he might be out of arc, yeah. Uh, okay. Right, Billy's got Dallas down. He must know that he was out of arc. So now the only problem with that is that uh, Dengar wants to go left to clear stress, but he's so close to killing Poe. Dengar can also go forwards to clear stress. That's true, but then Poe will disappear. He's got he's got Nim for that. So Nim clears stress with a one bank? Uh, or a two bank, I hope. I believe two banks. I think he two banks, target locks, and just uses his last torpedo to guaranteed kill. And he can take Dengar 2 forward to clear his stress, get into range one of Dash if Dash doesn't do the hard one barrel roll back, and put some ser serious hurt on. So it's pretty clear, seeing this initial setup, that Billy's got the reps in with this list. Uh, he's got a plan. He's coming out, and he's flying it quite lovely, to be honest with you. Um, so some great positioning going on. Um, despite having some pretty bad dice from his Dengar, he's had some pretty yeah. great on his Nim. Dash um, playing slow, taking a focus. He's still got Harpoon. We might see something slow from Dengar. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, I don't think you ever see a reason. Why would you waste an action clearing that Harpoon? No I point. think I think Billy's in a in a great position here. We've got to see a boost from Poe, probably. Yeah, I think so. Uh, not much else he can do. He's got a target lock on Nim, but he's he might just he might just focus. Yeah, he can't focus because of advanced, advanced optics. I don't know if a Talon roll would have fit, but uh, certainly he's escaping around. Now David's got a high enough MOV; he might be all right. Billy certainly has to win this game to make the cut. Okay, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. So David's got a high enough MOV, he might be all right. We're going to see eight of the 24 and twos make the top 16. Okay. Um, so hopefully Billy remembers to shoot back at Dash this time when he takes damage because he's going uh, to. I, again, I think last turn Billy's a good enough player that he that it was probably not in. Uh, and we'll, we'll ask him after the fact to see it because I'd be interested to know what he thinks if, if he felt it was. Because it looked like he could have been in arc. Maybe. Maybe it was not in range. In range, in arc, right? Dash was, but Dash doesn't have to be in, in arc. arc. Yeah. So that could have been it. The angles and the square bases might have gone and to his that's, favor. That's just exactly yeah, it, it right? We're, we're looking miss. at a weird angle. I really like where Billy's going. He's got a TLT here. No, he's got Auto Blaster. Yeah. So I think but he's if, got I he think he he's got has arc. arc on Poe, he still has one more Harpoon Missile. And yep. honestly, he needs two damage. Yep. So the problem is now Billy's got to make sure to not let Poe get away. 
and regen, regen, regen. Yep. Ray focus coming up, beginning of combat. Mm -hmm. Billy's going to poo. Yeah, show. Billy's I would do it. spending harpoons. I do it. Continue to keep that pressure up on Dash. I'm oh, sorry, on Poe. Poe's in arc. In He's arc, in anything un unobstructed. We'll see when the dice come down, but yeah, spend that lock. And then he's going to chips for another crit. So hit, so crit, hit, crit. double crit. So he was obstructed oh, and Poe focus. whiffs. So crit, crit goes through and that's... Oh, no, auto thrusters because it's secondary. Uh, no, it's uh, at range two and it's in arc. Yeah, so. so that's two damage and that's a dead Poe. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, great call by Billy. Honestly, that was an absolutely great call. Taking that target lock and throwing the damage, and then there was a direct hit, and then it, oof, it was, it was major crit. explosion into major direct hit. Major explosion into a direct hit. So he actually only technically needed one. No, because he needed the two because the one was a shield damage. That's a that's a super dead Poe. That is an uber dead Poe. Yeah. All right, here comes Dengar's range two shot onto dash. Uh, I with a hit crit there. Do you maul? It's hit focus. Hit, hit focus. He's checking for lone wolf. No lone wolf. He's deciding to maul. Probably going to maul for the one. Yeah, that makes sense. And then focus for hit, hit, crit. Yep. Yeah. Guaranteed to wipe your maul away. It's range two, so he's only got two dice. He's guaranteed to hit. He's yep. guaranteed for that stress to go. Yeah, he's also guaranteed to get lone wolf. Yeah, lone wolf coming in. And then he takes another hit, he's crit. He's taking hit, crit. So, so shields down. Yeah. And he will be able to return fire from this Dengar again. Hopefully Billy remembers to clear his stress. Yeah. Dealing damage. Uh, he did not. He did not clear his stress. Oh, he oh, did there clear we go. his stress. Right, that's that's not what you want to see with David. One wolf and then focus for three. Yep. Yeah. That's still a solid output. Absolutely, but Dengar is going to come right back at him. Well, Dengar is getting pounded by Dash. He is not revolted. He is not oh, uh, rolled in a two on to three half left. Yeah. Three hull left on Dengar, and we're looking at into Dash's hull. I I I think I'm all again. Absolutely. I'm all. Again. Absolutely. Now that looks like focus. That is a Lone focus. Wolf for the focus token. You got to assume that you need three damage to not. Yes. Yeah, yeah do it, Billy. Billy. Go for the kill. Oh, oh, that damn bump in the mat. Maul is a traitor. Ooh, is that count as cocked or what is that? That's cocked no, for Billy's sure. That's not. cocked. Yeah, there he is. This. No, Billy's let him. Billy let him keep it. Hey man, it was pretty flat to me. It looked pretty flat to me too. And if that was my opponent, I'd be like, no, that's pretty obviously innovate. All right, Victor's going to double check on everything, and I think, man. But, uh, so two stress, two stress. Oh, man, you know what? This Dengar feels a lot like Zuckus Dengar. Is it just me? It does. Right? It feels it like almost nothing's changed. Yeah, you don't have that focus token. It's a little bit better, but what? Like, there's no real with Lone Wolf. There's almost no real downfall. Downfall to just Zuckusing. I'm sorry to just mauling all the time. Right? Okay, you don't get actions anymore. That's it. You still chew through people. You still keep attacking them. Fundamentally, I don't think it's. It's not as good. I, I'm not sure how it's better or worse than uh, K4. Mm, I, mean, I love K4. You only get to use it once instead of twice a round, but... Uh. Oh, is Maul once per round? No, no Maul's twice per round. Yeah. K4 would be only be once per round because you just have the target lock, yeah. right? So this is going to be really interesting for David coming in. I don't know where he thinks he's blocking no, the two No, I love that sloop. maneuver. He's, he's blocking almost all of uh, Dengar's green maneuvers. Right. And he's giving himself some reprieve from that attacking. Though, all things considered, his dash has been pounding that, that Billy's Dengar. Yeah. But, I mean, at this, this point, is, now uh, you're only almost ever just going to do he's, that. He's always had the focuses, and, and on Billy, that the Ray was something Billy was worried about. Mm -hmm. And uh, there we go. A bump. But Dengar re he's did reveal a bump. Well, oh, here's the ion projector coming into play. Ion projector, so. Like eyeball. Oh, no, he ioned him. Yeah, so he's just got one ion, though. It does take two ions to ion tokens to ion a large base ship. Mm -hmm. And Nim's just gonna come up and probably no, he doesn't check a bomb here or not yet. There's no need to. No. Probably take target. He can't shoot harpoons. No, he's out of those. I'd imagine target, focus, focus. Maybe, perhaps. He can't TLT. He doesn't have TLT, so it's gonna be primary. Still has three dice primary. It's not nothing to scoff at. Mm. That's a this is a tough choice here for Billy. He's gonna try and set up next turn. But Nim's, Nim's got a stack of health and a shield, so he should be all right. Well, I mean, you gotta let's factor with the, with the focus token and lone wolf and the way David's been rolling on this HLC. You gotta factor your Nim's taking three to four damage this turn. So you're down to two yeah. two to three hull next turn. You've got if you don't get into range one bubble, 
you've got two turns left with your with your nim. What do you do? Do you target lock? Do you barrel roll? Do you do many things? If he barrel rolls all the way as far back as he can to the middle to the finger pointer, can he get out of range three? I do not think so. And it's tough. It's tough. Well, I think if he barrel rolled out through, through the rock, which he's is what he's going to do, roll, okay. I think that might get him out I of range three. I think he might get out of it too. He's going to go as far back as he can to become adjacent to, but not touching the rock. Yeah. And I think that might have been enough. It's a good call. I mean, the focus token on the one of a die does it really make a difference? I'd rather not get shot at all. Yeah. I, I think that was a good call by Billy. Now, the one thing Dash can't do is go backwards. Beauty. So I think we're going to see no shots this round. Yep. And probably, I'm going to say a sloop from Billy. Uh, Maybe. Sloop left? Yeah, why wouldn't yeah. you? I mean, it won't clear your stress, but oh well. Does he need to clear the stress? No. Nope. And then just... uh, Lone Wolf on Dengar will finally proc. He'll be able yeah. to joust in, get two good shots with his ships on on Dash, which might be just enough to get uh, get him off the board. I completely agree. I, I, th I think there's no other reason not to do that. Now, I mean, uh, David could still potentially... He could block the two sloop. If he hard ones left with his dash and barrel rolls back, he blocks it. Uh, it's it's dicey. So he it's, does. It's tough. And that would keep Billy where he was. And then he can potentially ray, with a double ion. And then he can ray. Uh, and then he can ray HLC Nim as he comes closer and keeps his dash only taking one attack for one round. I mean, guys, this is not this is dash. So this is not unwillable in the slightest for David. This is still a really good game. It's very tight. You have to be very very specific with what you guys do at this turn. Um, Absolutely, a little this bit is, of dash. This is, this is an very, expert, very he's, important. He's still very, very slippery now. He's got a lot of focuses in his ray bank. Um, you know, he can afford to do some barrel rolling here. It'll be interesting to see what happens. But it, it, it's also a little clenching. And now I don't have a good enough view on that table though. The hard one left with dash might not clear. If that doesn't, if he doesn't think it'll oh, clear you were saying hard two though, eh? No, I meant hard one back. Hard one left, mm. and then you barrel roll. Our two back doesn't block the sloop. Well, where he is now might block the sloop. Uh, because of the angle? Yeah, I think he does. I think you're right. He made one forward bump. Maybe. Block sloop. But then if Billy does a hard something. If Billy does anything other than the sloop. Yeah. Well, he can't 40k. Well, he can't 3k, whatever it is. This is where you don't want to be with your dash up against the wall in the proverbial. So he's going to go for the one straight bump. Okay, I like it. And then Dengar's going to go for the one straight clear stress and get Ion, potentially. No. Doesn't get it. But you see David put his hands up saying, yes, he went one straight. And he's like, no, why did you take that Ion? I needed you to take that second Ion. But Dengar still got that big ship barrel roll. He could have, even if he was Ion next turn, he would have been able to barrel roll backwards. Correct. Probably and then hard get one out, out of it. danger again. The jump, let's, not make, let's not forget how good the Jumpmaster actually still is. The Jumpmaster is still excellent. A phenomenal ship. This has a great dial. So what does Nim do? I think barrel roll to get out of range three again. He's gonna barrel roll across the board, sort of to our to our right. Oh, he's gonna go to the left. He's gonna go for a shot on uh, Deng. I think on he wants dash. to put damage in. Hey, all power to you. Interesting. I like that David's remembered every single round to get that ray focus in there. Yeah, you, that's 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 the key to being good at X wing. Write your triggers on your thumbs. Yeah. Judge Extraordinaire was quite famous for always writing the cloak Ooh, on his thumbs. When Billy, he one hit thumbs. from... Well, Lone Wolf should be okay. Yeah. Ray Focus would have been even okay. And now you eat four dice in the mouth. And, oh, that's cocked. There you go. He's allowed to re-roll that. That's definitely off. Eh, it doesn't matter. Just, just four roll. Four more hits. Just, oh, just bye bye Nim. You have two health left. Oof. That was, that was a... Uh... I don't think Billy's rolled an evade once this whole game. No, he doesn't have a lot of green dice. That's true. But on the ones that he's thrown, Dash has, Dash has consistently put put out four damage this round. Every every round he's attacked. I th no, but that's think what he does. I think Billy's setting up for a bomblet next turn, but this is going to be interesting to see if David goes for the bump again, and interesting to see where Billy's planning on going with Nim, because if yeah. he can PS kill Dash, well, then Dengar's the one forward anyways. So that's all he's gonna do. No, he's not. What do you mean? Because he's double ion. He's not double ion. Yes, he rolled. He oh, he rolled a blank. He rolled a blank. That's right. Yeah. You could do something absolutely crazy and two sloop to right. For a stress. I don't know. Gives you more angles. Give you more lanes. I mean, you'd always you'd want the left. It makes no sense why you wouldn't take it. You're not wrong. Get someone pointed away from the board edge. 
Oh, well, hard two from dash. Mm -hmm. Barrel roll black for the back for the block, maybe. That would block the, the two sloop. I'll straighten up that mat. Uh, Dave, David would have beaten me, so look at that. Mm -hmm. I would have done the, the two red sloop trying to call his bluff and... However, the two if if Billy did pro so now depending on where David Barrow rolls, yeah, he could block. He could kind of almost wind up exactly where he just was, which it looks like he's gonna do. He's gonna go right back to where he was Oof. again, hoping that Billy did the two bank sloop, which he will block. And yeah, then he gets another kick at the ion can. Yeah, well, if Billy did the hard one away from him, then he might be. Oh, oh, interesting. He might not be able to fit as far back as he wants. He might be deciding to go. Where are you going, David? That's interesting. Oh, okay. He's blocking the sloop. Trying to find the right place for him to go. He's got to stick to the right side or to the left side. Yeah. Yeah. That blocks the sloop. Gets the eye on. Did Billy see that coming? Oh, he did what he, we thought he would do. Yeah. <coughs> Does Actually, the red. Is that a two bank or is it the red sloop? It's hard to tell from this angle. We'll see if he puts the stress clears. down. I think he. Uh... He's saying he clears. Oh. Wow! Did that clear? Because he barrel rolled back to back, it clears. Well, hello, range one in arc. Yeah, if you're David, you got to be kicking yourself right now. Mm. Dengar's not gonna get that double shot off, but. No, but Nim's just gonna barrel roll for an auto blaster shot to be in the bubble. Yep, this is this turn is going to this could hurt. Be, this could be the game if the dice go Billy's way and they don't go Ooh. David's. Oof. That is quite comfortably in the donut hole. Auto blaster. Oh, that's what David needed to see. For nothing. Beginning of combat, David gets that. Ray focus. Billy jumping the gun a little bit. Dengar, yeah. range one. So they ruled it being cocked. He's going to not decide to maul anything. Uh, I guess lone wolf. Ooh, Ray Focus to take damage, and he will, Billy will get to remove. Yeah, he gets to remove his stress. Yeah. He removes only the one. Yep. Because he did one damage. He, he didn't maul. I know. So he got rid of his only stress. Yep. Which is great. Which means now he can cage uh, I I expected Dash to eat a lot of damage there. Well, an unmodded auto blaster sometimes just whiffs. That's the kind of the heartbreak with them, right? Absolutely. Without a predator or, or something to reroll. You just hope for good dice. So Oof. Billy's had some pretty decent dice on attack, and you know, had he gotten better dice that turn, that's it still wouldn't have been over because he did no damage with his he had no he had and no damage with his Dengar. Now Billy has Dengar where he wants him. He's away from the board edge. He's not he's not being threatened with being ioned off the board. He's gonna be okay. He's probably gonna f sloop again. Yeah, he'll just red sloop again. I mean, why wouldn't you? Or white sloop? Why not? Uh, white sloop, you probably hit your own nim. He can barrel roll. Or, uh, oh, fair enough. Showing him. Yeah. It's white. Red sloop again, maybe. Well, because Dash has got to go forward. He's got a three bank or, or uh, he's got to get out of there or hard two. Dash has to get there, get out of there. Yeah. But remember, Nim can drop a bomblet right at the back, just like normal. Also, don't forget that Nim can also Talon roll to his ship right and trajectory simulate the bomb forward if Billy sees this coming and moves his Dash thing out of the way, which I kind of hope he does. Yeah. I mean, just for the craziness of it. We've already seen one Talon roll bomblet des destroy three ships at once, so. All right, so Dash is doing a three bank. Billy marking his ship. 90 to the right. See, the thing about Lone Wolf Dash is he doesn't move as far or as fast as Super Dash does. He's got yeah. boost or barrel roll, not both. Sorry, he's got barrel roll only. So I'm fairly confident a trajectory. Oh, uh, guys, uh, what what are you doing? He's moving his. Sh that's yeah. That's not there. We there go. we go. Okay. So if Billy was just an absolute G and figured out how to get his Dengar out of his Nims way and Talon rolls his Nims and trajectory simulates a genius bomb forward, that will be Max Lulz. And <sighs> also kind of also kind of awesome. Let's see if he did. Okay, so three bank, that's going to not clear. Sadness. Is it going to clear? Might. Billy seems to think it's going to clear. No. I didn't think it was going to clear. 
Oh dear. Which means he can't do the Talon roll. But he might also still be in range one of of Dengar. <coughs> of of sorry, of Dash. No, that's range two, I think. Only just. I think that's in Ontario's finest range one. Yeah, get the train tracks out, guys. Let's uh, get it all lined up nice. No, they're fine. They're fine. Oh, okay. Chat's gotten pretty quiet. What's going on with you guys? There's 161 of you in here. Let's hear some chatter. I agree, Papa Palps. I do think that that bump is in his favor. It lets him take shots. But we have to see what he's doing with his Nim before we know for sure. I really think like he wanted to clear and yeah. wanted to get that. that he's he's, he's, he's talent blocking roll. the Talon roll right yeah. now. We'll see if he puts it, if we see it flipped up talent roll, then we knew that's what he was going for. That he, oh Billy, you had the right call. It's just you didn't clear. Oh, he might, he might, he might. Oh shit, he does still clear. Okay, great. So it's fine. Everything's still fine. It's all fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, put it as far forward as possible. Here it comes. Trajectory simulate. There goes the uh, extra munitions token off of. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. I mean, you're bombing your own Dengar, but whatevs. I'm, I'm Actually, wait, you might kill your Dengar. <laughs> no, you can't kill him, fine. but... He'll be fine. He'll be fine. It... Oh. He's removed the... Uh, uh... So, shout out to Raven Mass. Are you actually from France? God bless you. Awesome, man. 3 a.m. You, you're hardcore. We love you. Okay, so... Vive la France. This is going to be... Interesting. Well, it depends on, on the damage that Bomblet does. Yes. So Billy's is rolling for his dashes bomb. Oh, dice gods! How many goats did you sacrifice to the dice gods, Billy? Oh, and Dash takes two. How many goats did Dash you sacrifice takes two. to the dice oh. gods, Billy? David, it's not. It's not you. It's your. It's the. Oh, dice. it's the bombs. It's, it's the bombs. It's the bombs. So now he's got two kicks at the can. He's got six dice to do two damage. Six unmodded dice to do two damage. Uh, no, he's got maul. Oh, is that range two? That's range two. Ugh. Oh, shout! Okay. We got a shout out to John on the in the chat. John's a blind player who plays locally. Uh, they uh, like in the badass. He's he's a quite a great Oiken player. Just a yeah. wonderful person. That's the range one. So 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 basically, Dengar's uh, Billy's Dengar. Dengar sucks. was range one. He hasn't made it. He hasn't done more than one attack die per attack. He's blanking every single round. That's his second range one where he got below average dice. Now he's contemplating, do I maul for anything? And he's going to maul, maul for, for one. One stress is easy to clear. That's it. Just the one. It's not going to nah, go. No, he's fine. No, not even need to lone wolf. Maul for three. Just, just I, You know, maul for three. What's I'm, four I'm, stress? Who cares? Yes. Uh, so now now David get impunity to just pound away at Nim. Nim's got a... Nim, that's it. Nim's dead. Uh, this is going to be Dengar. Dengar is uh, in at the last versus Dash. It's going to be t tough, tough, uh, tough, tough for Billy to, I think, catch Dash at this point. He can bomb out there. Like it's this is going to be an interesting end game. Billy gets to see where Dash is gone, but also he's got to uh, to really work to get those last couple of damage in. We're going to see Billy's definitely, he's got his dial down already. He knows where he's going. He's read David's mind before David's made his mind up. So we're going to have to see uh, where this is going. And Billy, again, has to win this game. He's got a lower MOV, so he's versus David's higher MOV. So this is, they're both on the line for uh, top 16, both 4-1. and one. So we'll have to see. Next two rounds are probably going to decide it. We've got half an hour, but uh, I don't think we're going to get there with the amount of damage that's been done and, and the uh, aggro-ness and the aggressiveness of these ships. So we've got Dash here doing a, a one-hard classic Dash maneuver. And let's see where he barrel rolls. Oh, Dash does a focus, doesn't barrel roll. Dengar... One hard green clears his stress, and let's see. Is he an arc or is he gonna barrel? Nope, barrel rolling for a range one shot, getting in there with that large base barrel roll. Oh, unmodded though, so he's gonna be relying on Maul here. 
trying to uh, PS kill dash. Range one. Dash isn't going to be able to shoot Dengar. Come on. Dengar and Maul. Buddy, buddy. You're going to re-roll it, Billy? You're... Yeah, yeah. Come on, Billy. Come on. You know you want to. There we go. Yeah, Maul it. Ah, oh, darn. Two focuses. David's going to spend, spend his focus. Take a crit. Let's see. That crit is... Uh, do we know what that crit is? Did they say? Oh, but he takes the crit. He takes the harpoon condition. The harpoon condition triggers does a damage to Dengar. Dengar's got two hull left. Dash takes the face face down damage card from the harpoon condition and dies. Good game. Came right down to the end. Came right close and uh, that's that.